Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. So now it's time to take a look at how you can uh, mask out images. So uh, here I've got a picture of a Coca-Cola can and uh, I will just drag that onto this uh, new composition button and here we go we have now got a composition with our image and uh, what I want to do is simply cut out this uh, can so I know there are some droplets here on the sides I will just ignore those and cut straight through them um, but I want to just remove the white background um, you could do that by just using a, a color key to just to wipe out the white background but uh, this is to show how you can use a mask so uh, let's do that instead so how do I create a mask for this layer um, first you want to just select the layer go into the composition you want to select the layer and uh, then you want to press G on the keyboard so you can see that activated the pen tool and this is actually the same way that uh, shape layers work you can just go in and start clicking and dragging and uh, then you will pretty quickly be able to uh, make a shape uh, that follows whatever you want uh, these are called uh, Bessier splines uh, the ones I'm using to do this you can always go back in and add new points you can also uh, remove points so uh, you don't have to be way too precise here in the beginning because you can always go in and change it up later so as you can see now I've finished my shape and uh, I'm ready to start refining. So I want a, a point here in this uh, in the middle as I have over here. So what I do is just you can see when I hover over the line, the pen tool, a uh, little plus pops up b besides the pen tool. So I'll just click, and now I've got a new point. Then I'll press V to get my uh, selection tool, and I will start refining this. And then I can just very, very precisely go in and change the mask. You can see these uh, small handles. I can go in and drag those around to fit my shape better. Um, but I don't need it here. So you can see um, I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing where the edge is. I have to like move the mask away to see where uh, yeah where the sh where the edges are and uh, there's a cool trick you can use uh, to make this easier so if you um, go into the settings and then open up the masks and pick your mask you can see this one is the green one and mine is green as well so um, if you open that up I actually don't know you don't have to do that you can just go over to this little drop down menu and then instead of setting it to add you can set it to none and that way this sh the mask doesn't actually do anything um, just yet it's just a shape and uh, that way you can see the whole picture and it makes it a bit easier to uh, place the the mask so you can see I'm just going around here I want to drag this one in a bit to sham up the corner but I don't want to uh, sham up the other side and I'll maybe drag this in and let's say this is good for now uh, here's our shape we can now uh, set this back to add and our mask will uh, be working once again let's add another point right here because there are some white uh, from the background that you don't want so let's just pull this in and here we are this is looking all right 
there are, so, there's a bit of white but well I spent like two minutes doing this so I am uh, pretty happy with this so um, as you can see now this is all cut out if we want to we can create a solid and make it composition size and let's pick a gray color and we can drag it beneath the can and as you can see the, the can is now on top of this um, here besides the mask there are these uh, this drop down menu you can set this to add and that means um, we have this shape um, and it's like a closed shape uh, of this can and when you set it to add that means that whatever is inside this shape will be shown and whatever is outside of the shape will not be shown so this uh, this part out here becomes invisible instead of instead of setting it to uh, subtract sub, uh, sorry add you can set it to subtract and that will do the opposite so uh, that means it will cut a hole uh, where the little area is and then uh, leave the rest behind so you can see we have the gray solid behind and uh, it's just a hole there are some different settings like like intersect uh, lighten darken difference and um, these settings down here are a little bit comp more complex and they require more shapes uh, on one layer some of them do um, so yeah let's just try something more with this so um, let's say we want to change this uh, color from white to let's say blue or some other color we can actually do that um, we can also just cut a hole let's actually do that instead so we now want to take this white area and just cut a hole instead so we will select our layer and press G and uh, we are ready to draw our mask so I'll just click in the corner and then start dragging until it fits and I will do this pretty quickly so you don't have to sit and wait and also because I want to refine, refine the mask uh, afterwards maybe red isn't a very good color for this so I will just quickly change the mask color to something like blue and there we go now it's much easier to see so um, I will just press V and then go in and refine it because it's hard to make it perfect in the first try it's way easier to just make a quick shape and then uh, go in and refine it until it's perfect I'm just putting it right here in this f area where the color fades um, because that's where the actual edge will be so um, now this area has been uh, masked but nothing has happened yet and that's because the mask 2 which is the blue one has already also been set to add so um, this just says whatever is inside of this area has to be uh, shown but also the green mask says whatever is in this larger area has to be shown so it's like showing the same thing twice and that just means uh, this area will be shown let's try and remove it instead so say instead of add set it to subtract and now we can see that uh, this area is now gone can now easily adjust the mask to remove all these small small imperfections in the mask where there are right white spill and as you can see we've now got a very nice mask we could take a new solid and uh, let's make this uh, blue and uh, 
put this behind where this line is. Put it behind the can and stretch it. Okay, so now you can see the blue is uh, the blue is filling the whole uh, little area here, but it's going over the sides. And here you can also use the mask to uh, change that. So we'll just create a very quick mask. Click, click. This has to. Uh, this doesn't have to be precise at all. Just a few clicks like this, and uh, you can see the excess blue is now gone. So uh, we've now changed our Coca-Cola can to have a blue stripe instead of a white one. So <laughs> yeah, that wasn't probably very uh, very useful uh, for like design, but it proves. Uh, a very, very useful technique. Thank you for watching Edupedia World. Stay tuned for more videos.